Coventry United TV highlights are proudly sponsored by Coventry Motorcycles and Scooters, a family-run business providing an extensive range of new and used scooters plus 125cc motorcycles, also stocking a wide selection of helmets, protective clothing and accessories. For more information, contact Roy on 02476 440011, email Roy at coventrymotorcycles.co.uk or head on down to their new location at 288 Walsgrave Road, Coventry, CV2. 4BL. On paper, it should be a standard win for Coventry United, but of course, we know that games are not won on paper, especially when it comes to Coventry United. We've seen some shocks this season, both the first team and the women's team. There it goes. Well, the goal has fumbled it. It's gone in. Who got the final touch? Or did that go all the way through from Laura Cooper? I think it may have done. I think Cooper is going to claim that goal. It's only a bizarre way for Coventry United to open the scoring on 12 minutes. You've got to say the goalkeeper should be doing better than that. Kanda will be very annoyed to concede a goal in that fashion. But Coventry United have got the lead. So the latest score here from the uh, Cottery ground. Cannon caught nil, Coventry United won. A bit of a difference with the Red and Green Girls playing West Ham United ladies last week at Spark Arena. Winning by two goals to one. Nodding on, gauntlet, one on one, surely. In off the post. Well that was an agonising wait to see if that ball would end up in the net. And luckily for the Red and Green girls, it did, bouncing in off the post. Mass Gauntlet makes it two. Two goals in a couple of minutes, putting United firmly in the driver's seat. And a nice ball bouncing over to Amber Hughes. Take it. Racing down that left flank, beating Higginson into the penalty area. Will she go alone? It's across the face of goal. It's a known goal. The Camden Court centre back, stabbing it into her own net. And this is starting to become a rather comfortable scenario for the Red and Green Girls. It's 3 0. Yeah. Yeah. Cooper sends it into the area for Ali Hall. Hall nods it past the goalkeeper. That's what she does. And Coventry United make it four. Simple header in front of goal, simple but effective for the Red and Green Girls. Into the area, blocked on the line, and Rosie McDonnell puts it away. It's five. The old five. Rosie, the old five. We've got to stop now because we had five yesterday. Rosie McDonnell making sure that this is the second game in two games. Two days, I should say, to see Coventry United score 5 5 0 for the first team against Long Eaton yesterday, 5 0 for the girls against Camden Court on Sunday. Cooper's delivery is a short one to Maz Gauntlet. It's dipping. Oh, what a goal! Gauntlet scores her second in superb style. An absolute rocket dipping into the top corner. She'll be proud of that one. Great goal, Maria! Frackle, down the left-hand side with Shilton. Just a cut in, Buck forces off the ball, but Shilton now to shield it from Buck. Great determination from Mike Shilton into the penalty area. And a goal back for Cowden. Keris Miller makes it 6-1 and takes away the Red and Green's clean sheet. You have to give a lot of credit to Alex Shilton for that goal. The determination to keep the ball away from Alex Buck and a great cross to five Miller at the far post. And a cool finish past the Coventry United goalkeeper from the counter number six. Over the cross point, it will be another corner on the left-hand side. Gauntlet offering the short corner option, which is quickly covered off. By Daisy Blore. Towards the near post. Oh, yeah. And it's in. Flicked home by Amber Downs into the roof of the net, despite the best efforts of Greenway. <clears throat> so the girls have got one goal in the second half. It's 7-1. Mm -hmm. 
and we're 15 minutes to go. You'd say this is a pretty convincing victory for the Red and Green girls. Can they've tried their best, but they simply can't manage the intense quality of Coventry United. 